Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Go forth, forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace in your heart, heart that we should do the incarnation of Christ to thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance be always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us, us in this day of battle. battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, pass down into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through, through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my, my God, God in there, there, to whom God. God's love commits me here. Ever this, this day be at, at my side to light, to light and God, to rule and guide. And guide. Amen. For the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Our entrance hymn number 204, 204, fashion me a people. Fashion me a people, a people set apart, that I may be your God, and you will give me your heart. Come together in community, a sign of my love here on earth. To share the life of Nazareth and incarnate the mystery of my birth. Be a family humble and forgiving who listen to my voice, who call upon my mercy. And at my coming will rejoice. Fashion me a people, a people set apart, that I may be your God, and I will give you my heart. Come together in communion. A sign of my love here on earth To share the life of Nazareth And incarnate the mystery of my birth Good morning to everybody. Good morning, Father. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and uh, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. 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 Christ, 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 have mercy. Lord, 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 
God Almighty, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who followed the Lord. Psalms and the Canticle from Sunday, week one. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you, my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I'll bless you all my life. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as the banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed, I remember you. On you, I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Andrew, Andrew the, the brother, brother of Simon, Simon Peter, Peter, was one of the two, two who followed the Lord. the Lord. The Lord loved Andrew. He accepted him like a fragrant offering. For all your works of the Lord, oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, angels of the Lord, oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, the heavens of the Lord, oh, bless the Lord. And you, clouds of the sky, oh, bless the Lord. And you, all armies of the Lord, oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, sun and moon, oh, bless the Lord. And you, stars of the heavens, oh, bless the Lord. And you, showers and rain, oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, all your breezes and winds, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, fine heat, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, cold and heat, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, showers and dew, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, frost and cold, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, frost and snow, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, night time and day, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, darkness and light, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, lightning and clouds, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, mountains and hills, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, all plants of the earth, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, fountains and springs, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, rivers and seas, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, creatures of the sea, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, every bird in the sky, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, wild beast and tame, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, children of men, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, Israel, bless the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, priests of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, servants of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, spirits and souls of the just, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, holy and humble of heart, O oh, bless the Lord. And Ananias, Azarias, Mizael, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. The Lord the loved Lord Andrew. Andrew. He, accepted he accepted him like, like a fragrant, fragrant offering. offering. Andrew said to Simon, his brother, We have found the Messiah. And he brought him to Jesus.
Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And Andrew said, said to Simon, Simon his brother, brother we, have we have found the Messiah, and, and he, he brought, brought him, him to Jesus. Jesus. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as blessed Apostle Andrew was for your church, a preacher and a pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. For our Lord Jesus Christ, his Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If your lips confess that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. When scripture says, those who believe in him will have no cause for shame, it makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. All belong to the same Lord who is rich enough, however, many ask his help. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But they will not ask his help unless they believe in him. And they will not believe in him unless they heard of him. And they will not hear of him unless they get a preacher. And they will never have a preacher unless one is sent. But as scripture says, the footsteps of those who bring good news are a welcome sound. Not everyone, of course, listens to the good news. As Isaiah says, Lord, how many believed what we proclaimed? So faith comes from what is preached, and what is preached comes from the word of Christ. Let me put the question, is it possible that they did not hear? Indeed they did. In the words of the psalm, their voice has gone out through all the earth and their message to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response, their word goes forth through all the earth. Their, Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. 
Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Their word goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet their span goes forth through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you into fishers of men. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. They were making a cast in the lake with their nets for they were fishermen. And he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And they left their nets at once and followed him. Going on from there, he saw another pair of brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in their boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. At once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At once they left their nets and followed him. If you notice that the, in both cases they tell us at once because they want to remind us that these people responded immediately. You know, once you believe, once you know it is God, you simply move. The idea is let us not keep God waiting. No? We do not keep the Lord waiting. The other thing they did is they left behind their security and livelihood. Now that is not easy to do. But they could have only done it because they recognized that they were talking to the master of the universe, the savior. And the third thing, they followed Jesus incomplete trust, unaware of where they are going and what will ever happen to them. They did an Abraham. You remember that's what Abraham did? And that's why we call him the father of faith. That God called him, go and I will give you a land. Didn't ask the Lord where. He simply decided to go and they go and they go until God said, this is the land. Well, that's the same thing with the apostles. They had tremendous faith and trust like Abraham, no? And what makes it a little more difficult is Jesus told them right out. Foxes have holes, the birds of the air have their nests, but the Son of Man has no way to lay his head. Now that's difficult. There's no place for us to sleep, so we just follow him, you want. But we have in the, in the, the first reading, which is what we have to try to understand with them, we, the first reading says, but no one who believes in him will be ashamed. So they believe in him, and they follow him, and they will never be ashamed. Doesn't mean they're not going to get some hard licks. I'm wearing red because they killed him. But he'll never be ashamed because God is his maker, and God will bring him to full glory. Now, they become fishers of people, men and women, bringing people to Christ, make disciples of Jesus, bring others to believe in the Lord for eternal life. Bring others to believe in the Lord for eternal life. For people to call upon the name of God so that they can be saved. Why is it so important to bring people to the Lord? Because I know in our day and age, you say, what? Okay, leave people alone, whatever they believe, they believe. 
Well, it is very important in order to bring people together because if you don't believe the same thing, if you believe bad things, we can do bad things to one another. But if you're united in our faith, then more than likely we will do good for one another. So it is very important then that we listen to what the Lord is saying, that we need to become fishers of men. No? And I must say that there is urgent need for the gospel to be proclaimed in our times. When you think about what is happening in our world, when you think about the culture, the war, what they call the woke culture, when you think about the secular world and all the things that they're saying, no? And uh, they, they have a way of making things, the right things look wrong and wrong things look right. And for some reason, they get a lot of people to follow them. A lot of people just follow them. And, and that is why it is so urgent that we have preachers to proclaim the gospel. And this is what Paul said. For how can people call in the name of the Lord? Remember, you have to call in the name of the Lord to be saved. But how can people call on the name of the Lord without belief? Uh, and how can anyone believe in him without having first hear about him? And how will they hear about him if no one preaches about him? And how will they preach about him if no one is sent? Well, each one of us here, we have anybody who is not baptized. Once you're baptized, don't forget that we are called to be priest, prophet, and king. No? So it is either that we are called and we don't answer, or we call and we answer. So which one is it? Everybody got to own them, because remember, we can't hide from God, huh? We can't hide from God. It doesn't matter who we are. God will always use our skills and abilities. Not about the person. In our world, sometimes we prefer this one, or we like that one. We make that one feel good. But that's, that's not the way of God. That's the way of the corruption of the human heart. God simply would like everybody to use his abilities, her abilities, her skills, his skills, to draw others to Jesus. So the big question is, since, of course, that we are called since our baptism, have you drawn anybody to the Lord? Have you brought anybody to the Lord? Is there anyone to sing the wonderful song? when they look upon you and say, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Can anybody look upon you and sing a beautiful song like that? Rather than just sing it, for the, because we have a song like that, now, but it's just a tune that we like. How lovely are the feet of... Oh. Who brings good news... Good news. Well, uh, people like that song. But I mean, some people look on and wonder. They, they like the song, but they, they won't do it, no? They won't do it. So the question still is, when people look at us, will they sing that song and say, how lovely are the feet of those men and those ladies who bring the good news of salvation to others. We have to ask ourselves that personally. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Since we have received from the apostles our heavenly inheritance, let us thank our Father, let us thank our Father for all his blessings. Lord, Lord the, the apostles, apostles sing, sing your, your praises. praises. Praise to you, Lord God, for the gift of Christ's body and blood handed on by the apostles to give us strength and life. Lord, Lord the, the apostles, apostles sing, sing your praises. praises. For the table of your word, served by the apostles to bring us light and joy. Lord, Lord the, the apostles, apostles sing your praises. 
for your holy church, built on the apostles to make us all one body. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For the washing of baptism and penance entrusted to the apostles to cleanse our hearts from sin. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. And let us lift up Francis and Jason. And let us pray that they, like Andrew, may be faithful fishers of women and men, proclaiming the good news with conviction and power, and be God's instruments through whom many will come to know the Lord personally and experience his grace and salvation. We pray. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Look, dear Lord, upon your children who are sick. We pray that you heal them of all ailments of body, soul, and mind. We pray. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Bless, O oh Lord, our personal needs and grant us to be prompt in surrendering to you our entire lives. All that we are, have, and possess, we pray. Lord, Lord the, the apostles, apostles sing your praises. May the grace of the Holy Eucharist incline us towards God and disposes us to be instruments of his wisdom, grace, love, and salvation to our neighbor. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquities. Cleanse us from our sins. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, through them we may please you by what we have brought and may give in life by, by what you have accepted uh, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we proclaim, Holy, 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 holy. Lord, Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith when, when we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this, this cup. cup we, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord. Lord. Until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and uh, Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and we lift up to the Lord, Eric Jagasa. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call upon God, our Father. And as we call upon him, let us ask the Lord to help us to be serious about our baptismal call to be priest, prophet, and king, and to take out the good news to others, as we dare say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. Peace of God. Lamb, O Lamb, Lamb of, of God, God, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. Lamb, O Lamb, Lamb of God, have mercy on your people. Lamb, My sisters, my brothers, behold uh, Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. We come to your table to worship, O oh Lord. We come with our hearts filled with joy. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I rejoicing in your midst. We come to your table to worship, O oh Lord. We come with our hearts filled with hope. Eat of my body and drink of my blood. You will have eternal life in me. We come to your table to worship, O oh Lord. We come with our hearts filled with love. Love one another. As I have loved you, this is the greatest gift of all. We come to your table to worship, O oh Lord. 
Come with our hearts filled with joy. Well, two or three are gathered in my name. There am I rejoicing in your midst. We come to your table to worship, O oh Lord. We come with our hearts filled with hope. Eat of my body and drink of my blood. You will have eternal life in me. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us dear friends, make the art of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, we believe that you, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, is truly present in the Holy Eucharist. And we know, Lord, that you're present because you promised not to leave us orphans, but to be with us until the end of time and into eternity. Lord Jesus, we love you above all else and we desire nothing more than to receive into our hearts and souls and minds. But Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally. Come to us, dear Lord, in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, and take over our hearts and souls and mind. Live in us, Lord. Embrace us with that blessed assurance that we belong to you and to your kingdom. And teach us how to embrace you and unite ourselves wholly and completely to you. And Lord, never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand for the Benedictus. Hail, precious cross. Receive the disciple of my master, Jesus Christ, who hung upon you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in, in the, the house, house of, of David, David his, his servant. servant. As, As he, he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who were his prophets from of old. A savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all of their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Hail, precious cross, receive the disciple of my master, Jesus Christ, who hung upon you. Let us pray. May communion in your sacraments strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we, who carry in our body the death of Christ, may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May God spirit. Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks and be to God. And have a wonderful day, my friends. Same to you, Father. Today we have a birthday, one of our young sisters. Celebrating a birthday today. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. God is blessing. God is blessing you now. God is blessing you now. God is blessing you. God is blessing you. God is blessing you now. Happy birthday. Number 236, 236. I have decided. I have decided to, to follow, follow Jesus. Jesus. I, I have, have decided. decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back, no turning back. Do not go with me, yet still I follow. Do not go with me, yet still I follow. Do not go with me, yet still I follow. No turning back.